before Joe starts. She then turned around west at four meters per second for 124 meters. So we have that distance. What did you get for that distance? So we want to find the distance from here to here. Uh -huh. So if Jack's drawn this triangle, we can use the Beggar theorem on, but there's another triangle that we can use. And you're going to draw it on there, okay? There we go. Perfect. So we could also use this triangle that she's drawing to find that distance. Now just draw up there. You go. Perfect. Just like that. Because you started negative Oh, look at this one. Oh, you remember this one. I don't think that's right. Is that right, Scott? Yeah, so this is where we're walking into the circular forest. Can I take a picture of this? Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, I think that's excellent work. Okay. Hey, Sarah has saved us. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Sarah says this is a midterm, the first midterm, so you won't see it. Yeah. 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 And now it's half out here. And now try your writing again. Why did I forget how to do Just a little bit. That will be just fine. Yeah, if you want to expand beyond it, I think that's fine too. I can fill you in on some things, but I think that sense sets it up already. Yeah, yeah if you have any questions. Obtain the derivative with respect to x and it's arc sine of x, that's easy, 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. But if I graph the cosine wave, it does this. They're just they're just pi over 2 out of phase with each other. So all I'm going to say is like, look, we just take our cosine when I shift it to the right, pi over 2 units, then, then it lines up with the arc, arc sine graph. Okay, and they said, oh look, the a plus b x to the fourth, but we got 5x to the fourth here. So a plus b has to equal 5. But we knew a was 2, so that meant b had to be 3. So they're doing this equating of coefficients method, which I think works really nicely on the ones that get real complex. So we, we split it up into our two separate factors here. Okay, then it gets real interesting, because when you multiply the common denominator over, uh, we do end up with some pretty wild uh, terms here in terms of the, the coefficients that we see. Yeah? Um, do you think you could put the worksheet that we were supposed to do today in school with me so like, you can like, look at it at that time? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, probably. <laughs> You've exposed the other half of my, my rationale for the switch. They don't have the word sheet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I spent the first. Yeah, 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 we got that on video. 